This video is about the summing amplifier. Here is my summing amplifier circuit. It has two inputs, VA and VB, which I'm going to control with these potentiometers. This one for VA, this one for VB, and the voltage is shown on my voltmeter here. The two voltages are added together, and they give me an output voltage, V out, which is just here. And I've got my circuit built at the moment with three 100K resistors. Here's the feedback resistor. Here are the two input resistors just here. Now, my gain equation, well, it's not really my gain equation, my output voltage equation looks like this. The, the output is negative when the inputs are both positive. You have a feedback resistor, input resistor RA, this one just here, input resistor RB, this one just here. Rearranging it looks a little bit more messy. I get that equation there. And for the values that I've got on the circuit board here, I get minus V out is 100K over 100K times VA plus 100K over 100K times VB. And you think, oh my goodness, what a mess. But actually, all the 100Ks cancel out. And I should find out that minus V out is just VA plus VB. This circuit should add the two voltages together, give me the sum with a minus sign. Let's see if it does. I'll change VA first. So VA becomes one volt and V out is minus one volt. So that seems to work. I'll change VB. Try and get that back to zero first. I'll change VB. It becomes one volt. My output is almost minus one volt. But if I now make them both one volt, one volt and one volt adds up to 2 volts minus 2. And if I make them just arbitrary values, so 2 and 2.4 gives me minus 4.4-ish almost. Let's just see if we can get it to work. It's almost there. Yep, there we go. 2.1, 2.5 adds up to 4.6 with a minus sign. If I make one of them negative, then it adds up as you might expect. So 2.5 plus minus 1.5 is, is plus 1, so the output is minus 1. And if I make the two inputs the same size, but opposite sign, then they cancel out. Plus 2.5 minus 2.5 gives me 0. So my summing amplifier is adding up my two input voltages to give me my output voltage with a minus sign. Now it's not necessary to use the same value resistors, so I've built, rebuilt my circuit. I've made the A, RA, sorry, 33K. There it is. I've made RB, this one here, 47K. There it is. So my output equation now becomes minus V out is 100 over 33 K times VA plus 100 over 47 times VB. And when I do the math, I end up with that. So my output should be 3 times VA plus 2.1 times VB. VA and VB have different levels of influence. This one is going to be multiplied by 3 to give my output voltage. This one is going to be multiplied by approximately 2 to give my output voltage. Let's try it and see. They're all reset to 0. So we make VA 1 volt, and there we go. The output is 3 volts with a minus sign. 1 volt times 3 is minus 3. Now the hard bit, which I didn't manage earlier in the video, set this back to 0. There we go, that's close enough. VB now, I'm going to make 1 volt. And you see the output is minus 2 point, minus 2.1, minus 2.0. It's probably due to this bit here being added on. So VB is multiplied by approximately 2 to give the output. VA is multiplied by 3 to give the output. If I make them both 1 volt, then I would expect the output to be, no surprises, minus 5. Well, minus 5.1 ideally. 1 times 2.1 plus 1 times 3 minus 5.1. And there it is. If I change VB, 
the output changes. Notice how changing VB does not affect this voltage here. And if I change VA, the output changes. And again, changing VA does not affect the value of VB. And if I make VA negative, I should be able to reduce the output to zero. But now, VA is only one point, minus 1.2 volts times 3 is 3.6. VB is 1.8 volts times 2 is 3.6. These two cancel out to give me almost zero again. It's a summing amplifier circuit. It's fantastic.